Norman from I Save Tractors. In this video, we're going to take this Toro Groundsmaster 345 and take it snow plowing. Check it out. Before we get to the video, I'd like to quickly thank you for watching and tuning in to I Save Tractors. Be sure to throw a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook for daily content and updates. And as usual, we sell and manufacture all kinds of the best aftermarket parts for vintage cast iron small engines. Check us out at isavetractors.com. Okay, so here is the beast. Now, this Toro Groundsmaster 345, I won at an equipment auction for only $650, as you see it. Well, almost as you see it. The plow blade is different. We'll talk about that later. But other than that, it had the cab, it had the mount, the subframe for the snow plow, it had the weights. Uh, I bought the chains later. But for only $650, and the best part was there was nothing wrong with this machine. It started up at the auction. I drove it onto my trailer, brought it here, and here we are today. The original M&B snowplow for this machine was pretty badly damaged. So instead of trying to repair it before the snowstorm, I just simply modified a 60-inch snowplow from an old wheel horse tractor mounted it on this machine and we're good to get through this storm. Now the only trade-off I've had to make with this wheel horse plow is for now I have it installed in such a way where there's no angle function. So this snow plow will only plow straight ahead but as you'll see in a moment for my property that's not a problem. Let's just get it done. The engine that powers this machine is a Ford VSG 411 1.1 liter liquid cooled carbureted gas engine. This tractor has power steering and a fully heated cab. With the cab and its current configuration, I estimate this machine to weigh about 1,850 pounds. It's supposedly 1,300 pounds for the machine itself dry. With the cab, the snow plow, the gas, the oil, etc., I estimate it to be, as I said, 1,850 pounds, which is a pretty hefty small machine, which is awesome. This right here is the cab heater. It cycles hot coolant through it, and there's a little fan that blows the heat out of the vents. Here are the forward and reverse uh, foot pedals, as well as the braking system. This is the control console for your choke, throttle, your instrument clusters, etc. Under the seat is the gas tank and access to the battery. Okay, now that I've walked you around this machine, let's uh, wait for the storm and see it in action. Here we go. <laughs> 